This month, we feature epic encounters, formidable foes. As we weave our way through the adventures in Halcyon, we like to shake it up with encounters that will spice up your campaign. In this crate, you'll find deadly foes, dungeons deep, cryptic cartography, and some much-deserved character development. Keep this insert to collect the dungeon tiles on the back. Welcome back, friends and scoundrels. Um, we got August. I should know what month this is. <laughs> At the August dungeon crate. Um, not a bad one. So, we'll just jump right into it. So, go. and uh, here's what's in the box card. Um, bird. Eh. Back to the epic encounters with the um, deadly foes. All right. Formidable foes. Recently found writings from Rolleric of Rims, a bard of some renown, chronicle the creatures he's discovered through his travels across the continent of Halcyon. Uh, we've got a character journal. Upgrade your character sheet. Chronicle the mighty deeds of your RPG character in your epic campaign in this character journal and a notebook for your tabletop. Our Reaper Bones figure. We've gathered a trio of trouble and let them loose among the crates. You'll receive one of the following Reaper Bones miniatures in your crate. Fire Demon, Frost Giant Bodyguard, Demon Lord of the Undead. Use the Adventurer's Guild to trade and or collect. Got a coin thingy. Trade bars are gold ingots circulated by the powerful guilds of the city and literally worth their weight in gold. Each trade bar has a heroic image of a guild member on one side and the symbol of the guild on the other. You'll receive one of, one of three, Merchant Guild, Thieves Guild, or Wizards Guild. Got some maps. Map pack, featuring four cards that can be put together Voltron style to form a map. Illuminate your mind with this glossy overlay. Cards are double-sided and feature two map layouts. A button and a sticker and a card. It seems one night the house elves got into the shady lady's whiskey and ran amok, making random buttons and packing them into everyone's crate. We have no idea what they made or what you get. Darn it, Winky. And a random bit. Uh, yeah, we got another boat as our random item, which are going out in random crates. All right, so that was this dungeon crate. Um, I know it doesn't seem like a whole lot, but I, I just really like a lot of this stuff in this box. Um, I glanced through the foes thing. Um, some interesting stuff in there. I don't remember much of it offhand. And I forgot to look through it again before I started speaking about it, so, meh. <laughs> but, looks like there's some good stuff in there. I've been able to use some of the other stuff from the other Epic Encounters items, so, there's that. Um, what do we got? We got the RPG Character Journal from Crit for Brains, a.k.a. Kevin Coffey. And this thing was pretty cool. I might have to get a few of these. This is a lot better than having a bunch of folders. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's not really a whole lot to say. Um, you saw there's space to draw maps, which is kind of neat. And there's um, plenty of space for notes. And doodles. And doodles. It's got all your character information that you need. Be really, really neat if they could um, make specific class ones. That would be. That'd be about the only way I think they could improve. But I think this one's okay, even though it's got spell slots and not everybody uses spell slots. And that's what made me think of that. Um, Reaper Mini. Uh, I need this guy. Whoops. So, yay. How do I always manage to get the minis that I want or need? Stand. Um, I think 
I haven't checked it with the other miniatures that I have, but I'm pretty sure this is the larger scale giant. I might be wrong though. Um, yeah, I, I might be wrong. I think he's about the same, proportionately the same size as the other female, the female frost giant that I already have. Um, but I'm really glad we got him, not the fire demon or the demon lord of the undead. I wouldn't necessarily be disappointed with either of those, but um, I don't use a lot of demons. Lane doesn't use a lot of demons. Nobody really uses a lot of demons in our area. So, wouldn't be as helpful. Um, the ingots, i th pretty sure we got the Thieves Guild. I uh, don't know what the other two were like, but there's a lot of really good detail on that. Uh, and that came from campaign coin, so Wayne apparently found somebody else to get stuff from. So I'm sure we can expect to see more coins. It is what it is. Um, and the map tiles. These are pretty cool. Looks like we got some kind of fate pool or something. And a summoning portal. Which would be useful for the demons. And the button, I don't know what all they made, but I that was a character from out of here, so I think that's what they had going on. Um, yeah, so that's all I have for the box. Um, Alright, so, should have Magic Mini Mystery Box coming soon. Um, things have worked out and we've been able to get another one of those, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um... As suggested in the thing with the miniatures, the description for the miniatures, uh, check out the Dungeon Create Adventures Guild Facebook page. It's a pretty good community, lots of good information, place to trade things if you don't find something useful in the box. Uh, check out our Facebook, or minds.com, Pinterest, I'm trying to get better about those things. <laughs> Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share it around, turn on the notifications, and until next time, live to roll.